Okay, y'all, is anybody else like me when you're about to try something for the first time, all of a sudden I'm like mad nervous. I keep reading the directions over and over again. It is for something that's so simple. Okay, look, let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, so I picked up this Lysol Laundry Sanitizer 0% Bleach kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. So on the back of this bottle, let me show y'all like this. On the back of the bottle, it has this little like peel here, right? So you're able to just peel back the little uh, instruction tab so that you can get the specific details for doing my laundry, right? I promise you, I have turned this little sticky, sticky label thing over like 10 times because I'm just so concerned that I'm not gonna do it correctly, but it's not even that serious. Like when you open it, it says for high efficiency, front load machines add two capfuls each filled to line two of the dosing cup to the fabric softener compartment or directly to your rinse cycle wash. I promise you, I've read this a dozen times in the last like 20 minutes, it's crazy. And of course I read it in the store when I went to purchase it and I have seen the commercials numerous times. Really, it just talks about sanitizing your laundry, which it's one of those things where you kind of think about like, hmm, I know I'm washing this, soap and water, whatever, but is it sanitized? See, now that's a little like, hmm, I don't know about that. So, yesterday I was at ShopRite with one of my best girlfriends, Miss Hope, as we were shopping, because uh, we got all the ingredients to make Bee Love Smackalicious sauce. Let me tell you, oh, mm, 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 yes, it was everything, everything. But we'll get into that on a different day. Right now, I am in the basement trying to get my laundry done, and I'm so nervous. First of all, let me pay attention because you're supposed to add this to the rinse cycle. So now I'm sitting over here like, okay, how many minutes till I get to the rinse cycle? So I'm just kind of sitting here on this little sofa until that little green light lights up. Let's take a look. So I'm just sitting here waiting for that little green light to come on for the rent cycle. That way I can try this Lysol laundry sanitizer with zero bleach. Uh, but it's supposed to help get all those nasty germs. And I'm, I'm not a germaphobe. Although, does anyone ever say they are? I feel like everyone says, I'm not a germaphobe. But yeah, you probably are. Nonetheless, you know, I'm I'm easy breezy, but when you think about it, your clothes, like this is touching your skin, your body, like hmm, I think I wanna try to sanitize some things. So that's what I'm about to do. I am sitting here just waiting for this thing to turn green on the rent cycle, and then I'm going to be adding my laundry sanitizer. This is the thing, I just keep opening this bad boy like 20 times already. It's ridiculous, I know, but I just wanna make sure I get it right. And I think I've always been like that. You know, even I worked in banking for about a dozen years and I promise you, there were certain activities that we just don't do on a regular basis, like wire money. So every single time I went to do it, every single time I pulled out the instructions. So it didn't matter if I knew, okay, there are 12 steps and I know what the steps are and I'm gonna get it done, no. Each and every time, because again, we're talking about hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars, every single time I read the directions. So here I am waiting for that green light to come on and when it does, I'm gonna add this Lysol to it, y'all. Oh, and my hair doesn't look terrible. So, you know, in the winter, I'm in Jersey. So, yeah, we have all four seasons, but in New Jersey, honestly, we can have all four seasons in like two days. Like seriously, right now it's pretty cold. In two days, like really cold. It's like 40 degrees, right? And then tomorrow it's gonna drop down to the 30s. Tuesday is supposed to be 60. Then Wednesday is gonna be back to the 30s. Like it don't make no sense. Like you have every single season happening in a week. It's ridiculous, but this is where I'm from. Some of you may know that I kind of got this little nickname in Cabo, 
years and years ago, this must have been 12, 14 years ago, I got the nickname Tiffany from New Jersey from some chick I met in Cobb. I don't even know who this chick was, but y'all know me. I can be pretty random. So they, we were at going to some kind of club in Cabo with all the girls. And there were these two women who were also there chilling in Mexico. And you know, I talk to everybody, like Judy says, like you just be picking up all the randoms. Listen, I talk to people, whatever. You know, I'm not very, I'm not over the top with it. I wouldn't consider myself an extrovert, but I will have a conversation with anybody. And I can usually find some kind of common grounds with anyone. I can have a conversation about almost anything. I do love to talk. So, you know, I keep looking to the side to see, okay, when is that light gonna turn green? Cause then I gotta be ready to go. Um, when I went to the store, they did have a few different um, fragrances for this laundry sanitizer. The one I got is the crisp linen scent. Um, to me, it just smelled nice and fresh. Crisp, doesn't that make sense? Yes, they, that's accurate. Um, which you already know my favorite, my game detergent just smells like everything. Um, but this right here, now for something that's supposed to be a sanitizer, like honestly, it smells really good. It smells like any other kind of detergent that you would be using for your clothing. And let me just take a look. Let me pour a little bit in the cap just to see like the consistency of it. Oh, so it looks really thin. If you saw how easily that was pouring, it the, the consistency looks similar to bleach, which is probably why they had to write on the front of this that is 0% bleach, which first of all, first of all, who talks like that, 0%? You ever heard some mess like that? 0% bleach. But I guess because they already have another percentage on the top kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Like, well, what is it that it doesn't kill? And how do I know? Maybe that's the one thing I really don't want is that point one that y'all don't even kill. Like, my goodness. But I guess because they have a percent at the top, then they felt the need to put 0% bleach. But honestly, um, as a person who you may not know this, I actually have degrees in advertising and marketing and sociology. So as a person with a degree in marketing and advertising, 0% bleach, I just don't understand what the value is in that. You could have just as simply wrote no bleach. Why did you have to write 0% bleach? Like I don't, I don't understand what the value is on that. But again, maybe because they have a percentage written at the top, they felt obligated to then go to the bottom and put another percent sign for something, but 0%, seriously, gotta let that go. Uh, then again, something else I noticed on the bottle for them, uh, for Lysol, to try to reinforce what this product does or doesn't do, uh, on the front of their packaging, which I, I actually, I do like the packaging. Um, I see how they give you this kind of little groove in the back so that you can just kind of tuck your hand in to make it easier to pour. Uh, and I have big hands. I actually thought, okay, it's nice that they have this groove right here. However, I would have appreciated also having a groove on the front because it's not really making it so that it's easy to grab because the, the front of the packaging and you know my thumb just slides right up. It, it's not the same as in the back where it has this indentation so that your hand fits into it and it doesn't slide. Like to me, it would have been nice if they would have additionally had that um, feature in the front. I do understand, however, that their concern might have been distorting the way their logo looks. You know, I do understand that things have to kind of work in relation to each other. Um, branding, we already know, is super important. Um, people recognize, you know, the type font, uh, even the sizing of the logo in relation to the size of the packaging. Like, I get that, but anyway, I digress. Something that's interesting on the front of the package is that they show kind of like a line, like how back in the day, our parents or grandparents or great grandparents would have been uh, drying their laundry out on the line uh, in the back of the home. So they have three objects that appear on that line. The first one is like, like a, a onesie kind of pajama for a baby. Uh, the item in the middle is looks like a towel. 
And then the item to the right is a jersey, which has the number 99 on it, which again, really just helps to back up how this kills 99.9% of bacteria. Uh, so I thought that, okay, I get it. I get what you're trying to do. Like you're just trying to have, you know, your numbers up front so that people can kind of make that correlation between, okay, we understand that Lysol kills germs and bacteria, things like that. So I, I do get it. Now, wait a minute, did, did y'all hear that? Sounds like something is happening. So I want to start getting this ready. Now it said to go, see, y'all, I feel like I'm about to read this again. I wanna make sure I do it right. I, do, I am using high efficiency washers. Um, but then it says for standard machines, add two capsules each, fill to line one. Now, I'm using high efficiency, but it's not a front load. See, now, see, I have questions. That's why I had to keep reading this, y'all. Listen, listen. Okay, what are we doing? Okay, it is a high efficiency machine. When I open the lid, um, right away when they talk about the detergent you should use, they have all the high efficiency, the HE with a circle around those letters. That is written on the underside of the lid for the washing machine. So I'm gonna go with the high efficiency direction. So it says on the immediate back cover, when you wash your clothes in cold water, bacteria can survive. See y'all? Lysol laundry sanitizer is an additive that kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Then it has three little asterisks. It contains 0%, 0%, there we go. It contains 0% bleach, so it's suitable to use with both whites and colors. Can be used on most fabrics, baby clothes, towels, gym clothes, bedding, undergarments, delicates. So right now, um, my assistant Jordan, my son, uh, he has not done my laundry in a little while, so I actually was pretty backed up with laundry. So normally I, I have, I don't know, maybe two loads, like try to put, you know, the lights and delicates together and then my dark clothes. And I do, I wear black all, as y'all can see. Listen, I'm a ninja, I wear black, okay? Anyway, so this time around, I do have four loads of laundry. So I split up all my dark clothes into the two washers that I have. And then um, over here on this table, I just, I like to keep all my delicate, you know, the unmentionables. I keep that in a separate bag. It's actually a Marshall's bag that my best friend Judy, and yes, that is her name. That's on her birth certificate. It says best friend Judy. Anyway, so my best friend Judy, uh, one day she gave me something. My son came home with something after visit visiting her at her home, and he comes to me with this bag, which I love when she brings me these bags because you know, you know, for a dollar, these little bags can take a licking and I really like them. They carry a good amount of whatever it is I'm trying to carry. So I usually like to put my delicates in that bag uh, so that I can just kind of keep all my stuff together. And then I have, you know, sheets and towels and robes and, you know, uh, the bathroom carpet, all that kind of stuff. So it sounds like something's about to happen. So let me just go ahead now, make sure I'm ready. Cause it sounds like we're about to get to that rent cycle that I've been waiting for. So it says, add two capsules, each fill to line two of the dosing cup to the fabric softener compartment or directly to your rinse cycle wash. Okay, it sounds like something's happening. So let me look in this little cup. Now, let's see, they said to where the two is. Now, first of all, I hate to be a stickler, but y'all, so you can't even see it here, but I promise you, there's no numbers. There, see, now they try to hit me with a flim flam. There are no numbers inside this thing. Add two capsules, each fill to line two of the dosing cup. Y'all, I wish you could see inside this cup. Now let me describe what they do have in this. Oh, so you can kind of see it in, in the reflection. So you see how, they have those lines, it almost looks like the cell phone bars. That is what they are calling line one and line two. So the line you're able to see um, right here, that line right here, that is what they consider to be line two. 
Y'all, I'm looking for the number two. Not some lot. Like, that doesn't say nothing. Did it really? Could, couldn't they have just put a one and a two? But okay, whatever. I get it. I understand. So I'm going to. And see, y'all, I'm trying to grab this container. And it's kind of slippery because, again, like I said, it has the groove in the back, but no groove in the front. So I'm going to pour line two. Okay. Line two. And I need to do two of these capfuls. Two capfuls. Now, what's going on, y'all? It's quiet. Is this supposed to stop? See, here's the thing. My assistant, Jordan, he's 15 in high school. My assistant, I typically pay him. Oh, it's so rich, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Okay, y'all. But it says locked, y'all. How am I going to open it? Okay, press the start button and hold three seconds. One, two, three. This Lysol laundry sanitizer zero percent bleach, but we don't know about that zero percent. But anyway, so I added it to both my washers, and it's on the rinse cycle now. So what else? And I know y'all probably like, why she all bundled up? But I am in a basement, and yeah, there is heat like this right here. That's a heater, um, but you know, it's not the same. I just, I did walk outside, so um, that's why I had my coat on. But anyhow, so I am doing these two loads. These are like the darks and some of the colors. I'm not that picky, um, but I did, I do try to just take out like, you know, the unmentionables. So that is um, gonna be washed next on the rinse cycle. I don't know how long it takes. It's kind of loud down here too. All right, so this is my first time making a real personal YouTube video. I do have a separate channel uh, because I am a licensed realtor in the state of New Jersey. Um, my office is located in Montclair. Um, I work, live, and play in Montclair. I do love my town. I am Miss Montclair. My family lives in town since the 40s. Um, it's definitely been a privilege to grow up here. 
and uh, I'm raising my son here as well. Um, so again, yeah, I have a, a separate channel, Tiffany Booker Realtor. But this one, oh, the lights went out. See, y'all, it's on a timer, and the lights went out. So let's just come on, get up out of here. I think I have everything I need. All right, so, and it is kind of loud in here. It's a little bit more quiet. So, like I said, I'm a realtor in town. So I do have a channel, Tiffany Booker Realtor, where I do walkthroughs of some of the homes that I visit, uh, whether it's an apartment, a condo, a co-op, um, or you know a single family home or a multi-family home when i am able i do make walkthrough videos that way uh, sometimes it's very helpful for someone to really see what it looks like from a different perspective than just a, a photo uh, which is of course one dimensional so uh, i mean i have recorded videos and actually rented things for people who lived halfway across the world just based on my video and i'm happy to say once they did uh, come and see the place that they now were going to be living in for a year. They were very thrilled. They said that my video was accurate. You know, I walk through so that you can see everything. Most of the time, I don't really talk during a video because I just want people to focus on seeing the space. But at someone's request, I can definitely uh, just kind of give some dialogue so that you understand the different areas in a home or apartment that I'm walking through. But this was my first time um, deciding on my personal channel to just record a little something one of my clients slash friends has been encouraging me to do more with YouTube and I decided to kind of take that on because I think it makes a lot of sense whether it's for personal use or professional use so that's what I'm doing and I decided you know what I'm using this product that I've never used before and maybe it be something interesting that I could film and then you guys could kind of see it with me. Uh, but I don't know, it must take 45 minutes or so to do a load of laundry. So I'm not gonna hold you guys, but perhaps uh, when I'm finished drying the clothes, I can just let you know what I thought of the results um, and whether or not that sanitizer, does it affect the detergent I use? Cause you know, I love my game. So, you know, I added two capfuls of the laundry sanitizer and let's see if I still have that nice, fresh, crisp gain smell when everything is all said and done. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Uh, I do plan on uploading additional videos, so stay tuned.